Let me introduce these notations before I bring up the pseudocode for the dextra algorithm. First is uh, CAB. This is the cause of the link connecting router A and B. You should know already. Yeah. What's a little bit surprising to you is this. The cause CAB could be infinite okay, because there's no direct link connecting the two routers and therefore the cause is infinite. Second notation is this. DD. Okay, small d here is indicating that for a particular destination, the path from this router doing the computation to this destination, what is the cause of the path currently? Okay. So capital D here actually stands for distance. This is also saying what is the current distance to a particular destination D for this router doing the computation. Now PD here, D again is the destination, okay? and PD is the, to indicate for this router to reach the destination D, okay? along all the path, all the routers on the path. What is the previous router before reaching D? Okay, so predecessor node along the path until reaching D. And prime uh, is the set of nodes whose least cause is already known. So here's the pseudocode of the Dijkstra algorithm. There are two phases, the initialization phase and the looping phase. A looping phase looks really complicated, so let's not worry about that part yet and focus on the easier part, the initialization phase. So what we're doing first is to initialize the end prime, the set of nodes we know already the best route to. And we are quickly including A. Uh, the reason is this. Whenever we execute once the Dijkstra algorithm, we give also the source of the path. So A here is the source of the path we are trying to discover. In fact, after running through a Dijkstra algorithm, we will discover okay, the shortest path to every other node in the network. Now the source, in case A is also its destination, hey, it's trivial, isn't it? We just don't send it down. Uh, send it to 127.0.0.1, the IP address for the local host. So we can initialize M prime to just the source node safely. Second thing we do is actually a for loop here. Okay, inside the for loop, we'll go through all the nodes okay, in the network other than the source. So all other nodes, okay, and for each node, B, we check whether it's directly connected to the source. If it does, we've discovered a way to go to this particular destination, isn't it? And the distance to it is the link cost between node A and node B. Now, if the node is not adjacent to A, then it's going to trigger this line here. No route has been discovered yet to this destination B. Therefore, distance to the destination infinite. Okay. Now, from the description, you probably also see, in order to find all pair shortest path, you need to repeat the Dijkstra algorithm providing a different source address. Okay. Now the exciting part, the looping phase. It looks a bit complicated, but if you focus first here, okay, the loop is going to go, go, go until all the nodes are in the end prime set. That is also saying that the loop is going to go until all the shortest paths have been discovered. Okay, the shortest paths to all the nodes have been discovered. And you probably guess that hey, one of the things that will be changing in the loop is the end prime set. Okay. Yeah, indeed. The first part in the loop is exactly to do that. We are gradually adding nodes into the end prime set. Okay? And the node we pick to add is this. Okay? The node such that the distance to it is currently the minimum. Huh. Because adding this i to end prime set is also saying that the best route to i is already discovered. So why is the minimum di here is suggesting that the best route 
This is also the shortest distance to I. Now, think. Originally, okay, we have A in the end prime set. Okay, the D, B, they're existing with, you know, significant values are these. The nodes directly connected to the source. And therefore, the distance to each of these nodes okay, is the link cost. Now, in the loop, okay, the first two lines here is going to include what? The node with the smallest link cost to the source into the M prime set. Is that making sense? Okay. Is the shortest distance okay, to that particular node exactly that? Is there a way to discover another path to that node that is going to be lower than the link cost between A and I? Not possible, right? Because all the other links cost is higher. If there exists another path to I, uh, the cost is definitely gonna be longer than this because all the other link costs are higher already. Okay, so di here is indeed the minimum, and i here we've already discovered the shortest path. So it's safe to include it into n prime. In fact. Having added i to the n prime set, this is also saying that we already discovered the shortest path to i and the shortest distance is di. So i know there is something really nice to exploit. Okay. Through i, we can potentially discover shorter paths to other nodes. Okay, we have not yet discovered the shortest path. Okay. So what we're doing here next is to go over for all J nodes that are directly connected to I. So for all the neighbors of I, and not yet in M prime. So all the neighbors of I that we have not yet discovered the shortest path, then we update DJ. Okay, and that is what this formula is saying. Okay. So the new DJ is the minimum of the two, the existing DJ and okay, the distance to go Okay, from J directly to I and DI. So the shortest distance from I to the source. So DI plus CIJ. So this is what the comment is saying. The new cost to J is either the all cost to J or the shortest path to I plus the link cost from I to J. So what we're doing there is yeah, to update DJ. Okay, if there is a shorter path, that's just you know editing. If there's a shorter path, that's you know override a bad path, okay, things like that. So you see, oh, what we're doing in the looping phase is actually not much different from what we're doing in the initialization phase. So this part of the looping actually corresponds to this part of the initialization, isn't it? Okay, including nodes that we know for sure. Okay, what is the shortest path? And then here actually corresponds to this. Okay, try to discover okay, the shortest path possible okay, by updating uh, based on the information that is known. 